Hey guys, the Cubed here. Today we'll be unboxing this month's Puzzle Crate. Puzzle Crate is a monthly subscription service that sends you about one to two puzzles a month for just $29. I'll have a link down below to where you can get the subscription for yourself. I highly recommend it. I've gotten it for a few months and every single month, this is definitely one of the packages that I look forward to the most. So in this month's package, we have a windmill mirror cube and then we have a two by two discrete pyraminx. And I think we're gonna jump into the windmill mirror cube first, putting these two aside. Produced by Mofeng Zhaoxi, this puzzle is a modification of the 3x3 windmill cube. It is modified by giving each layer a different thickness. This causes the puzzle to shapeshift even more than it normally would. The stickers have a brushed metalized finish to them which gives every piece an orientation and is only fully solved when the silver brush strokes are all going in the same direction. This adds a layer of difficulty by having to make sure each centerpiece is properly oriented when solved. The quality is very good and it is an extremely playable puzzle. Enjoy. So here, we basically just have exactly what it is. It's a windmill cube, but it is also a mirror cube where each layer is a different height. And with everything being metallic, you notice there are these strokes going in one direction. So if this thing is rotated 90 degrees, you notice these lines going this way, and then this one, you notice these lines going up and down. So you have to know how to correctly orient the centerpieces. I actually have a very old video that if you guys wanna go check out, I'll have a link to it down below. It explains how to change the orientation of these centerpieces, which is very helpful for 3x3 shape mods as well as sticker mods. So going into first turns, it's pretty smooth, it's kind of what you would expect. It's kind of hard to finger trick just because these pieces are different sizes and there's not really a lot to grab onto as you can see here. I'm just trying to do my normal turns and it's kind of hard to reach them. All right, so here we have this thing fully scrambled and as you can see, it looks like a pretty big mess. And so we're gonna go ahead and do a quick solve of this. One eternity later. All right, so that solve actually took a lot longer than I expected. I didn't really think about the fact that these four corners are all identical. These edges are all identical, uh, except for the sticker. And so they have to be in the correct spot. And so uh, you definitely really have to pay attention to the orientation of these stickers on these pieces, because it's kind of, Hard to wrap your mind around, uh, but it definitely took a lot longer than I expected. Definitely a fun little challenge. It's uh, If you like the mirror cube, I definitely recommend getting something like this. It's a little bit more challenging, but you can use what you know about that cube and apply it to here. So there is the windmill mirror cube. Now let's jump onto the 2x2 two two discrete pyramid. All right, cubers, I'm gonna be honest with you. This puzzle had us scratching our heads for a while, wondering how it moved. Similar to the frame pyramid, its edges can obviously be rotated, but what other moves are there? Well, if you line up the 2x2 two two ball core by turning the four edges straight up, you can turn the puzzle through its center. The edges move almost too easily as it can be difficult to keep all the pieces in line at times, but once you get it turning, it moves pretty well. There is also a somewhat hidden or discreet move that can be made when the puzzle is in its pyramid form. Can you find it? It can be tricky to get turning and catches a bit, but it is still a very cool puzzle to pick up and twist at the very least. Please turn with caution. Good luck. All right, so here we have the two by two discrete pyraminx. I've never seen any puzzle like this whatsoever. This is definitely a new puzzle for me and uh, I'm a little bit worried to turn it. You know, it's everything's everything it wants to turn right now, mostly these things right here. And so I'm curious to know what the actual discrete turn is that the card talks about. But oh, man, this thing is really difficult to move. I think the move it was talking about, about cutting through the center is as you can see, there's the little line through the center right there, the ball core. I think I can turn it like Okay, this is very difficult to move. I actually don't think I'm going to scramble this on this uh, video because I can barely even turn it. But I just want to make this one turn and it's very, very frustrating. This we're going to line up with the center. Okay, now we're done with that. This we're going to line up with the center and this we're going to line up with the center. Now this should move along this axis, I think, but everything else just starts turning and it's very, very frustrating. All right, so there's one turn. Now I'm not gonna do many other turns, but uh, there's that one turn that we're talking about. And that is so difficult to turn. How could anybody even solve this? Now it's definitely something that would look really cool in a collection and so for that reason I'm really happy that I have it and I guess you could sort of display it like this this looks pretty cool right here if you just put this on display on your shelf people will be like what the heck is that thing 
I think I'm actually gonna do that. But uh, so once it's like this, these things don't really turn. I mean, this sort of wiggles a little bit, but uh, nothing else can turn, I think. I wonder what that discrete turn is that it was talking about. So after a few minutes of fiddling around with this, I finally got the move, the discrete move to happen on the cube. Now I got it off camera, but I just stopped immediately after I started turning it. And so once it's in the triangle form, then you could turn it along the centerpiece. Now I'm not quite sure how far you can do it, but there's the discrete turn, I think, and then <laughs> it looks even cooler. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and take it out of that, but that might be a little bit difficult to do now that I've started it. Perfect. All right, let's see if I can get out of this. I mean, all these pieces are really catching. I do not think that this would be a fun puzzle to solve. So the way that one turn works is you notice that all these pieces are sort of aligned, give or take, maybe like a, a millimeter with that one cut along the entire cube. So follow this line right here, down this entire cube, and when everything's aligned perfectly, then you can turn it along that, that line right here. However, it's very difficult to make that turn because everything else just starts turning. And so this would 100% be an extremely difficult solve just given that it's extremely difficult to make pretty much any turn. If there is a solve video out on this, I would love for somebody to post it down below. I'd love to take a look at that and see if they have any cool ways of turning it that I'm just missing, or any uh, efficient ways to make turns easily. That'd be nice to know. But my overall thoughts on this cube, it's just extremely difficult and I would not recommend getting it if you have the intention of solving it. However, if you want something that looks pretty cool on your shelf and you're a collector and you like getting different puzzles just for the sake of getting different puzzles, then I would recommend it. So there's this month's Puzzle Crate unboxing. We have the 2x2 two two Discrete Pier Rings, which is extremely frustrating to turn, and we have the Windmill Mirror Cube, which is a little bit more challenging than your standard Mirror Cube. So if you want a little bit of a challenge, I definitely recommend the Windmill Mirror Cube, and if you want something that looks really cool on your shelf, then I'd recommend the 2x2 two two Discrete Pier Rings. If you guys want to get Puzzle Crate for yourself and subscribe for just $29 a month, I'll have a link down below to where you can do that. If you guys enjoyed this content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell next to it to be notified of all my future videos. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching. What does that make you feel? What? Spit that.